Welcome back. So you can see the parts are all primed up and it's time to get the horizontal stabilizer assembled. I'm not entirely sure why I'm wearing the respirator, but I'm sure I sprayed something and need it to dissipate before taking it off. First up, the doubler plate is going on to the rear spar. Now the elevator attach brackets are going to get riveted to the spar. middle bracket with the captive bearing in it doesn't get riveted on it gets bolted in place so we first start with my beam and get the running torque and add that to the final torque on the click wrench then I get all the nuts started with the regular ratchet. Then tighten everything down to the final torque setting before throwing on some torque seal. That rear spar is done, now it's time to get the forward spar doublers and caps in place, as well as those forward attach brackets. There are a lot of one-off rivets in this section because you're going through either just the spar and a cap or a spar and a doubler or the spar, the doubler and a cap or the spar and the bracket and the doubler or there's three along the very bottom that are a 4 10 rivet where it goes through the attach bracket, the doubler, the spar, 
and the cap. And those are some impressive rivets. This is the stringer assembly or sub assembly getting prepped. There's lots of going back and forth with the different yokes on the squeezer and trying to figure out how I can get to a particular rivet and squeeze it versus trying to have to buck it. Now the skeleton of the stabilizer is really starting to take shape. All these in-spar ribs are going to get riveted to that forward spar because once it gets set into the skins, they won't be accessible.
now for one of the most enjoyable things in building this airplane is riveting nose ribs into skins. I do love having this table and I inherited it when I bought the house and hangar. It's a full 4x8 sheet of plywood making the table. So it's really big, but it's also too wide when you compare it to the standard EAA work table where it's a little bit easier to get on both sides of the, the work it's just really not that possible so you'll see a lot of me getting up on the table to get close to the work and that's not ideal ergonomics I forget what was going on that required taping the skins, but I want to say the flanges on the nose ribs were not close enough and I needed the skin and rib to be better opposed so I could rivet them in place without a gap. Here the assembly is coming together, both skins are there, the nose ribs are in place, and the front spar and inspar ribs are all ready to go. Now it's going to be a lot of clicoing and making sure everything is lined up and straight. So I get the forward spar riveted up to the skin and this thing gets assembled forward to aft because as you move aft the skin tapers down and it would be impossible to reach in with the bucking bar if all the clicos were in place. So I know this one's been a long video. I'm going to leave it here and we'll pick up on finishing riveting the horizontal stabilizer in the next one.